hello guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon beside it so that you never miss out on any of my updates okay in the last update about this is fate we all saw how the saga began how the twist began like how pretty and critical came into the house to tell everyone that they are married and everyone were shocked and karan wanted to throw pretty out of the house but Critica stopped Karan and told everyone that truly, truly, she's married to Pritfi. And in case you missed that tea, that art tea, then I will leave the link to the playlist in the description box down below and I will leave it up in the card. Please make sure you check it out and watch that before you watch this one because this is the continuation of that saga. So let's just continue. Pritfi went to old Critica's aunt and Prita said that she knows that Pritfi would have threatened Critica to marry him or he would have married Critica forcefully because it is not possible for Critica to willingly marry Pritfi. Prita then told Critica that she doesn't need to be afraid of Pritfi again because her family is with her now so she need to tell everyone the truth. Critica said that Pritfi did not force her for anything and this marriage happened because God wanted it to happen and she asked Prita to believe her. Everyone were shocked hearing this from Critica and that they asked Critica that Karina sent her to her uncle's house. Then how did she end up getting married to Pritfi? Critica said that her marriage happened with Pritfi four days ago and they are truly husband and wife now. Sherlyn, in annoyance, went to her room because she couldn't bear it anymore and Mahira quickly followed her. In the room, Sherlyn started throwing things around and she was also breaking all the things in the room while crying. Mahira got there and asked Sherlyn to calm down but Sherlyn said that Pritfi said he loved her but he did not even think about her before getting married to Kritika. Sherlyn said that she got married to Richard because of Pritfi and she is pregnant for him as well but in return, Pritfi got married to Kritika. Sherlyn said that Pritfi never think about her but yet she did everything for him and at the end, Pritfi betrayed her. Mahira told Sherlyn to control herself and Shirley asked Mahira not to say anything to her because this is how Mahira reacted when Karan married Prita. Shirley said that she loved Pritfi so she would tell the truth about her and Pritfi to everyone now and she was about to go but Mahira stops her and said that there must be some reason behind Pritfi getting married to Kritika so Shirley should calm down. Sherlyn said that Mahira doesn't know the kind of person that Pritfi is as she is the only one that knows him and that is because he is the father of her unborn baby but he still married Kritika. Mahira said that first they have to find out what happened exactly then they can decide on what to do next. In the parlor, Karina asked Kritika that why did she marry Pritfi and Kritika said that her marriage with Pritfi happened in Chandiga when her uncle gave her permission to go to Mila. A flashback was shown when Kritika was standing and some guys came to trouble her and they tried to molest her and she started running away. The flashback ends and Karan asked Kritika that why did she not call him when this happened. Kritika said that she was in Chandiga so how can Karan come there to save her? Pritfi tried to interrupt but Karan warned him not to interfere. Pritfi said that now he is also their family member, so he can also talk like other family members. Karan said that he knows about everything that Pritfi said to Prita on the phone before he came here with the marriage drama, so Pritfi should shut up. Kritika said that she was the one that told Pritfi to inform her family members about their marriage. Pritfi said that no one was picking the call and that was why he called Prita. Kritika said that she knows that Prita has past history with Pritfi and she can understand why Prita is angry with this marriage. Karan said that Kritika's mind is not working properly because how can she marry one unfaithful soul in order to escape from another hooligans? Pritfi said that he also faced a situation just like Kritika on his wedding day with Prita as he was swapped by Karan and that is why he think that him and Kritika are made for each other. Kritika said that she agreed to get married to Pritfi because she later realized that he is a good man and she flashed back to when she was running away from the talks and the talks tried to molest her but luckily Pritfi came there and saved her from them. 
Critica said that she didn't expect that Pritvi would save her like that, and Pritvi also said that it would drop her at home, but the talks returned again with more goons, and one of them was about to stab Pritvi. Pritvi stopped the goon and he tried to apologize to them, but he ends up tricking the talks and he escaped from there with Critica. Critica said that this was when she realized that Prithvi is actually a good man and she desired to get married to Prithvi since her marriage with Akshay failed. Daddy said that just because Prithvi saved Critica from the goons doesn't mean that Critica should marry Prithvi. Critica then decided to explain everything that happened in details and a flashback was shown where Critica and Prithvi were running away from the goons because the goons refused to back out from chasing them. Pritvi took Kritika to a marriage venue where so many couples were waiting to get married. That is like a mass wedding where different couples were getting married and it is only one priest that will officiate the marriage of all of them. Pritvi told Kritika that it is a crowded place and they can easily hide there without the goons finding them. A man announced that eight couples are going to get married today and he asked the priest to start the marriage rituals. The goons also got there and seeing them, Prithvi and Kritika quickly hide under the table. The wedding announcer saw the goons and he told his staff called Arun to send them out because they may create trouble for others during the wedding. The goons told the wedding announcer that they are looking for someone and they started searching everywhere. The goons searched under the table where Prithvi and Kritika were hiding but they couldn't find them because Prithvi and Kritika had run away from there. Pritvi and Kritika saw a couple in the dressing room arguing that they didn't want to get married to each other and Pritvi and Kritika collected their dresses and they went to sit on the wedding altar as the bride and groom while Kritika was covering her face with dupatta and Pritvi was also covering his face as well so nobody was able to recognize them. The wedding ritual began and Prithvi completed the wedding ritual with Kritika by taking the seven vows and Prithvi also applied the vermilion on Kritika's forehead. The flashback ends and Kritika told everyone that this was how a wedding with Prithvi happened. Karan said that he would not accept this marriage and Prita said that she agreed with Karan because this is just a mistake and not a marriage. So Kritika doesn't need to take any responsibility for this marriage because Prithvi is a kidnapper and he is also characterless. Kritika said that Prita said the same thing about Akshay too and what later happened at the end. Shailin said that Karan and Prita are right because Kritika is a daughter of the Lutra family and she cannot just get married to Prithvi because she was stalked. Prithvi asks that what is happening here and why is everyone talking like he is not present here and what was his mistake that everyone is now against him in the Lutra house. Prithvi said that Salah has once chose him for Prita and Salah's choice can never be wrong. Karan warned Prithvi not to talk like that about Prita, and Prithvi said that they are judging him considering his past, which is wrong, so he has to speak up. Kritika said that Prithvi did not judge her because of her past, and so she would not also judge Prithvi for his past. Prita then told Kritika to think before accepting this marriage, and she should not think about society. Instead, she should think about her life. Prita said that she knows that both Kritika and Prithvi doesn't love each other and Kritika doesn't even know anything about Prithvi. Mahira tried to interfere but Karan stops her. Kritika said that the day Karan got married to Prita, nobody knows that it was Prita that was under the veil. Even Karan doesn't know that he was getting married to Prita that day. But today, both Karan and Prita are living together happily. So she and Prithvi too can live together happily even though they didn't plan to. Prita asked Kritika not to compare she and Karan's relationship with this situation on ground because she and Karan were husband and wife once before they finally got married again. Kritika said that she accepted Prithvi as her husband and she doesn't know why her family are not accepting Prithvi even though Prithvi just saved her life. Karan said that Prithvi cannot become the son-in-law of the Lutra house and Karan angrily leaves from there. 
Daddy asked Critica not to cry because she would support her. Karina said that she would not accept this marriage because the marriage did not happen in front of her. And Critica said that she is ready to marry Pritvi again in front of her family and everyone was shocked. Karina was shocked and she hugged Critica. Pritvi said that he has a request and the request is that he wants Prita to do him and Critica's marriage preparations. Shailene angrily leaves from there and goes to her room. Karina said that she accepts Pritvi's request and she asked Prita to prepare for the marriage. Prita was reluctant to accept the offer and Karina called Girish to support Prita with the preparation. Mahira went to Shelin's room and told Shelin not to cry because everything will soon be fine. Shelin said that she wants to stay alone for now and she asked Mahira to leave and she locked the door. Shailin was devastated and she kept on crying. She said that Pritvi has betrayed her and she wasn't expecting this from Pritvi at all. Okay, I have a lot of problem with this series. Number one, Shailin is crying now. So she doesn't know that he used to pain when you are doing wickedness to others. When your turn comes and wickedness is coming towards your way, then it pains. That is number one. Number two, Shailin's pregnancy is not out yet though. Her tummy is still not big. <laughs> number three, Myra is still living in that house. Number four, why is Prita disturbing herself? Prita would have just gently allowed Kritika to get married to Akshay. And by now, the problem would have been between that stubborn Karina and Kritika with the Lutra family. It would not even touch Prita. But now, Prithvi has entered the house. Now, Prita is in trouble. The Lutras are in trouble. The Aruras are in trouble. This is just like someone that is running away from Kekena Pep and the person that went to jam with Trailer. Is, is that not from fry pan to fire? <laughs> Let me just know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you think about everything that is going on now? And how do you think it will end? And I'm so sorry I wasn't able to reply to some of your comments in the last update. But I will do that as soon as possible. I've been so, so busy these days. So I'm so sorry about that. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye, guys.